In today's top cryptocurrency news, October 14, 2022, in the first new NFT Steez and Cryptoist CEO discuss the future of toys within Web3 environments. NFT Steez chats with Cryptoist CEO Will Wayne Rob about the future of toys, entertainment and play in blockchain-based games. In the second new, the sec should be aiming at Duquan, but it's getting distracted by Kim Kardashian. Duquan should be front and center for scrutiny from regulators. Instead, they're getting distracted by grandstanding over Kim Kardashian. In the third new, $50 billion asset custody platform GK8 enters Brazil with license agreement. Brazil is becoming a hotbed for crypto adoption, with the country's tax authority recently claiming that over 12,000 companies hold digital assets. In the fourth new, price analysis 1014, SPX, DXY, BTC, ETH, BNB, XRP, ADA, SOL, Doge, Matic. Buyers could not build upon the strong recovery of October 13, indicating that higher levels continue to attract selling in the US equities markets and Bitcoin. In the fifth new, crypto biz, $470 billion bank enters crypto, probably nothing, right? Another major financial institution has signaled its intent to offer Bitcoin and Ether services to its clients. In the sixth new, Bitcoin trader predicts $18,000 return within days as stocks walt post CPI. The fund could be over at $20,000, analysis warns as US equities feel the burn and the dollar makes up for lost time. In the seventh new, 51% of Ethereum blocks are now compliant with OFAC standards raising censorship concerns. One month after the merge, MEV Boost Relays expanded its market share as block builders, data shows. In the eighth new, Bitcoin bear market will last two to three months max, interview with BTC analyst Philip Swift. On-chain data is showing there is light at the end of the tunnel for Bitcoin hodlers, says look into Bitcoin creator, Philip Swift. In the ninth new, smart contract-enabled insurance holds promise, but can it be scaled? Blockchains can help to insure the world's uninsured, but daunting challenges remain. How does one explain crop insurance to indigent farmers? In the tenth new, Bitcoin Amsterdam 2022, optimistic outlook for BTC amid shaky economic times. Bitcoin Amsterdam 2022 paints a positive picture for continued BTC use and adoption amid uncertain economic times. In the 11th new, to HODL or have kids. The IVF Bitcoin babies paid for with BTC profits. A Bitcoiner in London brings new meaning to the phrase, generational wealth. Noodle sold some Bitcoin to pay for IVF treatments for two babies. In the 12th new, Turn Cointelegraph articles into NFTs, early access for 500 readers. Cointelegraph introduces its historical NFT collection, with articles that have shaped the blockchain industry mintable as non-fungible tokens. In the 13th new, El Salvador focused on bringing investment to Bitcoin City, says Ambassador. The El Salvador official noted that the government is looking to attract more investments to its Bitcoin city with special incentives for businesses investing early. In the 14th new, how does zero-knowledge proof authentication help create a portable digital identity solution? Zero-knowledge proofs are probabilistic assessments that take efficiency of portable digital identity solutions to the next level. In the 15th new, IOSCO demands tighter scrutiny over Finfluencers. The International Organization of Securities Commissions proposed a set of new measures to address the increasing risks in digital marketing. In the 16th new, Ukrainian Art Museum to preserve art and cultural heritage through NFT auction. The Kharkiv Art Museum launched a new NFT collection on the Binance NFT marketplace to help raise funds for operations and the preservation of cultural heritage. In the 17th new, community discusses why inflation isn't pushing more people to crypto. A community member started a discussion on a cryptocurrency on why inflation isn't pushing more people into the crypto space. In the 18th new, Blockchain.com closes crypto custody for Russians amid EU sanctions. Blockchain.com will soon shut down accounts of Russian nationals, 
while companies like Binance are also working to apply the new EU sanctions. In the 19th new, Ethereum price eyes 35% rally after 6,000 ETH gets burned in one week. A new crypto project aiming to mint tokens from burning Ether is behind Ethereum's deflationary turn. In the 20th new, Bitcoin bear trap sees BTC price near $20,000 as daily gains top 9%. Over $320 million in liquidations of companies are grueling 24 hours for crypto traders. In the 21st new, industry exec explains why NFT fraud protection falls on brand and not marketplaces. Brands that issue NFTs should hold the greatest responsibility to protect themselves and potential investors from fraud, an NFT security executive suggested. In the 22nd new, MakerDO revenue tumbles 86% on Ether and wrapped BTC woes. Messari research shows MakerDAO has experienced its first quarter of net income loss since 2020 following a huge fall in loan demand and few liquidations. In the 23rd new, NFT games are only scratching the surface of what's possible, Animoka's Yatsu. Yatsu thinks it's only a matter of time until more advanced models of NFT gaming are created, designed around the ideas of digital ownership, interoperability and economic utility. In the 24th new, China floats idea of Asian yuan to reduce reliance on US dollar. The proposed distributed ledger technology-backed Asian yuan token would supposedly help reduce Asia's dependence on the US dollar for international business. In the 25th new, Japanese gaming giants hiring spree ahead of NFT marketplace. Japanese entertainment and video game company Konami has posted new job openings to expand its NFTs, Web3 and Metaverse offerings. In the 26th new, regulators are spending too much time on crypto controller. Michael HSU stated that it is starting to worry him that we're not spending that time and attention on some other things like fintech, which he described as the future. In the 27th new, Web3 devs more active than ever amid crypto winter, report. Consecutive all-time high smart contract deployments and surging usage of Web3 script libraries mean that Web3 devs are still busy working despite the prolonged market downturn. In the 28th new, new crypto accounting guidelines could smooth the way for adoption. Another step has been taken on the path to use fair value accounting for the reporting of crypto assets in the United States. In the 29th new, CoinShares Twitter bot gives a fair price on NFTs. Or does it? The bot is based on an algorithm that is focused on aggregating different data sets from OpenSea to determine the supposed fair price of an NFT. In the 30th new, NFTs will be as disruptive as Bitcoin was 10 years ago, Kraken exec. Jonathan Miller, managing director of cryptocurrency exchange Kraken in Australia says despite NFT volumes plunging, the company remains bullish on the NFT space. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.